Hey guys, the name's Oscar, Oscar Q. Now as you can tell by the title of the video, this video is dedicated to my concerns about Fallout 76. I just got done watching the Bethesda, um, the Bethesda presentation of all their stuff. Honestly, their part of E3 has been my favorite part of E3 so far. Is they're like so many exciting announcements. They're doing brand new things, they're bringing back old things this new mobile game stuff, they're bringing Fallout Shelter to PlayStation, they're, they did, they announced a lot of cool shit, but let's get to Fallout 76. So this is this video is assuming you've watched their presentation on Fallout 76, and you heard everything that um, what is it, Todd Howard had to say about it, I think that's his name. So the first thing is, all your neighbors may not be friendly. And then you walk and you're literally fighting a real person. There's PvP in the game now. So this brings up a lot of questions that he did not go into detail about. At first glance, it seems, okay, this could be really cool. Or it could seem really bad. But there's so many questions, you can't really judge it because he doesn't give enough information on it. So one question is, what is the extent of this? What are the limits? Um, let's say I'm, I'm in my inventory sorting through weapons or loot, or I'm changing armor or something. Can I just be shot at out of nowhere? What if someone just happens to be sneaking up on me or sees me while I'm doing something? Can I be attacked out of nowhere just like that without any warning and not be able to defend myself? What if I'm building? What if I'm working on that cool campsite thing they introduced and I'm building a base and I'm like putting shit over here, I'm putting some shit over there and all of a sudden I got some shit going into the back of my head and that shit just happens to be some bullets. Hmm? What about that? What if I'm questing and what if I'm in the middle of a quest and I'm, I'm fighting other enemies and all of a sudden I get an, a real enemy shooting at me in the middle of that while I already have hard enemies aggroed on me. What about that? And here's another issue. What if I'm not I'm about to kill a like a, a, a boss well Fallout's really not known for bosses, but like a boss like creature, those creatures look like a lot of health and they're huge and shit. And I'm trying to I'm about to get some really good loot. What if in one way or another other players intervene, I end up dying, they finish off the boss and get the loot. Is that possible? Because here's the thing about this game. It's not an MMO and it's not a co op game. It's something in between. It's a new breed of, like, online game. There's not a name for it, at least as far as I know. If you guys know the name for it, please comment to me so I, I can learn. I'm open to knowledge. But as far as I know, like, this is, like, a, a new breed of online gaming. Where it's not co-op and it's not MMO. So how does that work? What systems are going to be in place? He didn't talk about any of this. So that's one main concern that brought up a bunch of questions. Here's the next thing. There's four nuclear... I think he said there's four nuclear stations in the world. Okay, so we can we can get codes to this with our homie dogs or by ourselves and nuke a chosen location. This brings up so many questions as well, but the first question I'm going to ask is... Why? Why? Why did they push this feature into the game? Because to me, it seems almost completely unnecessary. Like, yeah, the like at first glance and first introduction, it seems cool. Like, wow, well, I, I can nuke the fucking map. But why? I think the game would have been really cool without it. So I feel like this feature was pushed into the game. It doesn't really serve a real purpose except to add on to PvP. But Fallout is not PvP. Okay, so but here are the further questions going into this. Let's say I, I accept the fact the game's gonna have it, okay? They're gonna have nuclear bombs that you can launch after carrying out a few tasks in that regard. So in the in the in the presentation, they showed a nuke hitting like a base looking area or like a town or something, and then they show it just being wasteland, radiation. Does but they're implying structures are destroyed. But do the structures get destroyed? Like, what if it's something a player built versus something that was already there, like a, a pre-made structure by the, the game designers? Does that kind of stuff blow up too? Is it permanent? 
do does that area refresh after a certain amount of time or does it stay like that forever on that server in that world or does that eventually come back go back to normal and the radiation goes away how does that work it frustrates me because he introduced all these really unique features things that could potentially be pretty damn gangster and epic but he didn't talk about how it works and the how it works is going to make a big effect on the final game next thing about the nuke thing is let's say it is a structure i built someone's nuking my base that i've like spent a quite a while building with lots of loot and lots of supplies that i've been picking up around the world do i lose that do i lose my <laughs> my whole like fortress or whatever that i just built is it gone um is there a way to stop that from happening what if i stored you know because you know you can like put lockers or like drawers or whatever uh, or safes what if i had a bunch of loot i stored away in those things that i didn't carry on my person do i lose all those items that just got blown up if that's possible do, is that gone so basically i'm losing progress from someone nuking my schnitzel what are the limits to that there's so many questions how does it work he did not go over this here's another thing what if a team of four people or because that's what they showed in the presentation it, it looked like the max squad size is like four people but really we're not sure how that works um because you could have a squad of four people and then just have some other homie dogs and a party chat in their own squad and then you have like more than four people ultimately working together in the server and then the limit for the player size sounds like a couple dozen so that'd be like around 24 ish right so is it possible for any amount of people to get together get all these nuclear launch codes and control the nukes and just nuke everything therefore get those radiated areas they're creating by nuking places getting the most superior loot possible and dominating the server is that possible can a group of people like take over a server like if you guys ever played Ark Survival Evolved this game is sounding a lot like that obviously super different in so many ways but servers get taken over by groups of people in that game is that gonna happen in this game how does it work because if I come into this game new and there's people that have already been here because they're dedicated servers there's people that have already been here making progress am I screwed like am I gonna be able to make any leeway lots of questions and these are concerning things because these are things that could ruin the game for a lot of people I could ruin the experience completely. Like, the w what I've talked about so far isn't even Fallout type stuff. It's a lot of new things they're bringing into this franchise. A lot. Um, <clears throat> so, the third thing, and possibly the most concerning, the thing that's got me the most worried about the game as a whole, is... So there's no NPCs. Is that, is that what he's implying? Because he says, what if every character you see in the world is a real player, a real person, a real player? Is, does he mean that quite literally? Are there only like 25 people in my game world and all of them are actual people except my overseer that's going to be giving me quests? How does, how does that work? Does that mean there's no NPCs? There's not like you know i can't talk to anybody like to give me quests or to carry out a storyline with are there still quest lines so let, let's assume that he meant that the way he said it and the way that it was implied that there are no npcs there's just this overseer back at vault 76 that has things for me to do tasks to carry out if there's no npcs how generic are these quests going to be if there's no one in the world except real players, what what is there to do? Like, it's not like I can go and protect anyone or help anyone or get revenge for anyone. Like, there's no one for ta There's no one with things for me to do for them, and therefore there's no one to reward me for doing those things. So that that limits the gameplay. That limits how you get your loot. It limits everything. That really limits. I don't know how else to say it. Like, it completely changes the game. Fallout has always been about story and your interactions with NPCs and growing attached to those NPCs, because that happens. It's like, sometimes they do really good writing on some of those characters, 
and companions and whatnot, but now there's it sounds like there's not going to be any of that. So, generic quests, it sounds like there's going to be a lack of story, there's limited options, and he says you can play the game solo if you want. That's completely an option, meaning you don't have to deal with anybody, co-op or online-wise. So, if there's no NPCs in the game, what is a solo player going to do? Pl like... <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna have the generic quest from the overseer what like oh kill these creatures over here clear out this area build a settlement here with a certain amount of defense or blah 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 H how's it gonna work what are you gonna do what if you go like a friend of mine he made an example you go to this town and you fix the water system but who are you fixing the water system for just yourself that can affect the other players in the world how does it work what, it, what is there going to be to do in this game except PvP and exploring and destroying enemies? And by enemies, I mean, like, creatures. I guess there's still going to be, um, raiders, because they count it as an enemy, and they're not technically an NPC, because they're just an enemy, they, they, they attack you on sight, so... Creatures and raiders and, and stuff like that. I'm really worried about this game, guys. They, like I said, they had the most exciting presentation so far of E3. They had so many cool things to say and introduce. And the, even at first glance and thought of everything they said about Fallout 76 looks and sounds amazing. I love so much of it. But what is going on with these things that I just questioned? He didn't talk, he didn't go into detail about any of it, and I feel like he really should have. Like, there really needs to be clarification on how these systems are going to play out. So that's really all I have to say about in this video, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and if you're concerned too, please share this video to uh, Bethesda's Twitter or something. You know, get, get it out there, because I definitely want these thoughts to get to them so they can understand why I'm worried. The game comes out in four months. The, the game comes out in four months. And the beta come the beta's gonna be before that. There's not much time to change the game, so I th we're getting what's being advertised basically with, with little adjustments at max. So yeah. This is a scary situation. If you really take everything he said and actually think and sort it out, it's very concerning. And at this point I'm just blabbering on. So I'm worried about Fallout 76. Oscar Q out.